Sign up for free Stratfor Intelligence. Simply enter your email address to receive two free reports each week. Somalia's Transitional Federal Government, or TFG, concluded on September 6th a, a three-day conference in Mogadishu where it was aimed to produce a roadmap laying out the TFG's agenda for the next 12 months. At the roadmap conference, what was discussed was planning a new constitution, uh, new elections for the TFG parliament, and trying to improve security in Mogadishu. And these efforts are all aimed to improve governance and improve the delivery of, of public services for the people of Somalia. The TFG at this point is really benefiting from an improved security footprint in Mogadishu. On the one hand, the African Union Peacekeeping Mission, or AMISOM, that is deployed in Mogadishu has really made some significant gains in the Somali capital and really pushing back the main TFG threat, which is the jihadist group Al-Shabaab. And Al-Shabaab and, and its factions uh, have really pulled back from the Somali capital and are at this point really trying to figure out among themselves what is their next move. And the three main groups or factions that once contributed to al-Shabaab are really uh, separate entities right now. The leader of the transnationalist faction of, of al-Shabaab, uh, led by an individual uh, named Godane Abu Zubair, uh, he continues to espouse jihadist rhetoric and calling for a continued fight against the TFG. The two other main factions that comprise al-Shabaab, one is led by Mukhtar Robo Abu Mansur, the other led by Sheikh Hassan Dahir Alwais. Alwais faction, more commonly known as Hezbollah Islam, each of these two groups uh, are pulled back to their respective home areas. For Robo, that is around the city of Baidoa in the Bain Bakul regions. For Alwais, it, it is in Afgoye in the greater Mogadishu area. Uh, or Banadir region. And those groups, while they are still making public appearances, public statements, carrying out occasional defensive-oriented clashes, are not really taking any fight whatsoever to the TFG. So with, with about 12,000 peacekeepers uh, to be deployed in Mogadishu by, let's say, the end of October, uh, the TFG will have a very robust uh, security backstop but in terms of delivering jobs, health clinics, schools, roads, the TFG is still an extremely weak actor. And were it not for that security posture provided by AMISOM and the international community, uh, the TFG would be very hard-pressed to make any delivery gains.